Hello and assalamu alaikum this is Zafar Ali Khan and today's lecture is floating point numbers until now in O and AS whatever the binary number that you have dealt with were all whole numbers and integers so probably this is the first time we are discussing about real numbers conversions so floating point is basically the real number conversions into binary all right so basically let's start floating point mein dekhen jis tarike se aapke paas एक इंटीजर में टू की पावर जीरो टू की पावर वन टू की पावर टू टू की पावर थ्री टू की पावर फोर टू की पावर फाइव इस तरह हम चलते हैं तो पॉइंट वाले साइड पे हमारे पास टू की पावर वन टू की पावर माइनस टू टू की पावर माइनस थ्री टू की पावर माइनस फोर टू की पावर माइनस फाइव टू की पावर माइनस सिक्स इस तरीके से हम चलते हैं सो इन अ वे इफ यू सी ओवर द लेफ्ट द नंबर इज बींग मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू एंड ओवर द राइट द नंबर इज बींग डिवाइडेड बाई टू और राइट तो अगर हम इसको सॉल्व कर लें तो दिस वन बिकम वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ एंड देन वी हैव गॉट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री वन टू फाइव एंड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव All right, that is how we can convert these. So, as you can see, हमारे पास क्या हो रहा है? हमारे पास जो है simply point के left पे पूरे whole numbers हैं और point के right पे हमारे पास fractions हैं या decimal के numbers हैं. तो right right पे जो है वो division by two हो रही है. One का आधा half, half का आधा point two five, फिर उससे half one two five and that is how towards the right and towards the left it is one, two, four, eight and all. So, let's say I have to convert 10.5. तो हम इसको किस तरीके से कन्वर्ट करेंगे हम करेंगे 8 एंड 1 अंडर सॉरी 8 एंड 2. 1 अंडर 8 एंड 2. दिस इज 10.5 पॉइंट फाइव इज दिस राइट सो दिस विल बी वन जीरो वन जीरो पॉइंट वन फॉर टाइम बींग लीडिंग जीरोज और ट्रेलिंग जीरोज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू पे एन अटेंशन टू दोज और राइट सो दिस इज लिटरल कन्वर्जन फ्राम बेस टेन टू बेस टू टेनरी टू बाइनरी Now one thing, let's talk about fixed point. Fixed point numbers. Let's say आपके पास है three point five या twelve point two five या one one three point two three five या one thousand four point five three nine two. अब you can see that the point is fixed at its place. Integers are growing towards the left, towards their most significant number. and decimals are actually increasing on the right so point ke right side pe jo decimals hote hain wo left aligned hote hain towards the point point ke left side pe jo integers hote hain wo right aligned hote hain towards the point jabki point jo hai wo sabke beech mein hota hai lekin agar aap individual numbers dekhein to aap dekhenge ki pehle number mein which is 3.5 hamare paas point ek digit ke baad दूसरे नंबर में दो डिजिट के बाद है तीसरे में तीन डिजिट के बाद है चौथे में चार डिजिट के बाद है तो अल्टीमेटली हमें आइडिया नहीं होता कि पॉइंट किस जगह पर है सो फॉर दैट रीजन वी हैव टू फ्लोर द पॉइंट आउट फ्लोर द पॉइंट आउट ऑल द वे टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट अच्छा अब इस फ्लोर को हम किस तरीके से देखते हैं सो so, आपको उससे पहले एक और नंबर डिस्कस करने होंगे लेट से हमारे पास है थर्टी ये थर्टी थाउजेंड अब हम इसको कन्वर्ट करते हैं स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म में सो दिस वुड बी थ्री इन टू टेन टू पावर फोर सो अब हमने इसको स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट कर दिया फॉर कंप्यूटर वी कॉल इट जनरल फॉर्म फॉर मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स वी कॉल इट स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म अब देखिए इस स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म में ये फोर जो है इट इज सेट टू बी वॉट एक्सपोनेंट दिस टेन इज सेट टू बी वॉट बेस दिस थ्री इज सेट टू बी वॉट मैन another name is given which is called significant c a n d but we don't use this word rather we use what mantisa all right so probably you would have an idea of exponent and the base but not of mantisa so whatever on the left is basically called mantisa or significant so when we float the point out what basically happens let's check so 
10.5 becomes 1010.1 0, 0. 1. and I've told you that no leading or trailing zeros. No, not at all. Okay, so we will float the point out. Why have we floated the point out? For the reason that if you don't, computer would have no idea where the point lies between the bits as there is no such concept of a storing point. So we would have no idea where the point lies because we are not actually storing the location of the point in a number. So we float it out to make sure that point always lies between first two bits. So point always lies between first two bits. Okay. So 0 0.10101 into 2 to power how many points we have floated it out? How many steps we have floated out? Four. So this is basically now the form it takes in binary standard form. Basically it is called general form. So now you can see that point lies between first two bits. The point lies between first two bits. So computer does not save the point as it is now known that the point is between first two bits. This multiply sign and this base is not saved. All right. These three are not saved because they are there. They are understood. Point lies between first two bits. There is a multiplication sign and base two. Why base 2? Because this is basically the binary number. Now what we're going to save? We're going to save Mantisa 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and the exponent 1, 2, 4. So this is basically exponent and this is basically what? Mantisa. So this particular form is called floating point. If you would have done any of the languages like C language or Python, you would have an idea that all the real numbers there are called float. This is for that reason. This is floating point. So let's solve few of the questions. It will actually help us to understand how the binary numbers are being reflected in the floating point numbers. All right. So if it is seven point, seven five all right so seven is one 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 four plus two plus one seven point seven five would be point five plus point two five point five plus point two five so this is seven five all right so this is now the conversion from denary to binary now we will float the point out to find its general form or the standard form so that is zero point one 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 and how many times you have taken the point towards the left three so this is 2 power 3. Now we will only save the Manti side exponent in binary. So this would be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 3. So this is Mantisa. This is exponent. Similarly, let's have another number 9.1875. All right. 1875. It means that for 1875, we have to add 0.125 plus 0 0.0625. So 0 0.125 and 0 0.0625 so if you add from the right to the left 5 7 8 1 so this is 1875 so what we're going to do is 9 1 2 4 8 and 0.75 is 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.125 and 0 0.0625 so we will have 0 under 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 and we would have 1 under 0 0.125 and point zero six two five. So in a way, this works the same way as it does for integer side. So you would have to add all those fractions or decimals where there is a one underneath it. Now we have to float the point out towards the left, and there is no distinction. There is no exception. Point will always be floated out towards the left, no matter positive number, negative number, positive exponent, negative exponent, whatever that is being formed. The point will be floated out towards the left all the way. Okay. So this will become 0 0.1001001 into 2 key power 4. All right. Now we will save only the exponent and the mantisa. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and 4. All right. So this is the floating point number. This is mantisa and this is exponent. So that is how we convert it. But there is more to it. Let's see how.